Yes, sir. What's up? Uh, uh, sorry, I assumed your, your gender. I, I, yeah, I assumed, now you're good, yeah, bro. Yeah, I don't, I'm not tripping. Uh, yeah, so I, I was just agreeing with the, you said socialism is non-American. So what do you think is pro-American? Well, let's define what socialism is, right? Socialism, yeah. socialism is the government confiscation of private property. Um, mm. It tends to be the rule of the few, not the many, even though yeah. they profess to, see, to say it's the rule of the many. Um, but America, the American, let's just say, economic tradition is private property rights, markets with proper restraint, entrepreneurship, the ability to flourish, trade, um, create new products. Um, socialism disincentivizes almost all those things. Socialism is built largely on envy and greed. And hilariously, the people that push for socialism, the rank and file, they don't realize that socialism actually just creates an oligarchy. It doesn't actually create a strong middle class what they allege you know, to want. So do you believe in taxes? Uh, a certain, actually, ideally 10% across the board. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah. believe in the confiscation of people's private property? Not, I mean, at some point it depends on if it's private property income or if it's necessary to fund government services. But that's so, still a confiscation with a yes, gun through police if you don't at pay. At around 10% to fund public services, yeah, but the military. Yeah, socialism as, pre as taking private property. Well, hold property. on, the average tax rate in a socialist type environment, and even this country is what, 55%? Yeah, but I'm saying taxes in general. That's private right. property. So being taxation taken from is theft. That money. I fully acknowledge a moderate form of something I hate in order to fund a government, police, firefighters, EMT is necessary. But that's still government confiscating of course private it property, is, yes. which you said was socialism. Yes, but you vote for it and you agree with it. I mean, I'm not I, an anarchist. Well, why do I, I never agree? Have I, well, I'm an anarchist. I say any form of government okay. existence is that's socialism. Fine. Have you ever called the cops? Uh, no, I don't believe. Okay, I don't you work ever gone to They don't like me. <laughs> okay, you ever gone to a hospital? No. Okay, well, one day when you go to a hospital or you, you know, use but the yeah, social but service you paid for. I'm saying for. you define socialism as a confiscation of private property, and you're saying that you well, believe let me in go taxes, for, which is a confiscation okay, of private Okay, let me go further. Wages. Let me go for the unreasonable confiscation of private property, the elimination of private property altogether. You can have a 10% well, tax rate. That's not socialism. Well, they could be conflated. All the, the one, one is a gateway drug to the other. I mean, okay, but the, but the middle Lenin ground said is that socialism, socialism is a precursor to communism. Okay, but so. they're still different. If it's a gateway they're, drug, they're meth both is they're not both weed. garden varieties of Marxism. Would you agree? They're yeah, both, I agree okay. with that. All but right. I'm saying weed is not meth. So let's talk about weed. That's still a confiscation. If you're saying it's a confiscation, no, of one is one is better. One is worse, okay, and one is yeah. But if we're talking about socialism, more lethal. you defined it at the beginning as the confiscation of private property. Yes, correct. It's also collectivized use. Do you believe? Do you believe in public schools? No, nah, I mean, I, ideally, I think they should be more community-based and more in volunteerism. Okay, but you believe honest, in them so. in some level, right? Well, I mean, again, this is this is overly abstract and academic. We live in a society where we have government schools, we have public schools, so we could talk about what we want. I know, or but, what I, is but actually, if we're saying, but if we're talking about what is anti-American, what is pro-American, in the existence of what you say is American, would you say public schools are part of being American? Would you say that? That's well, part no, of they are. I mean, the, the public I school didn't? system was started by John Dewey a hundred years ago. We I mean, survived without it for like the, quite a while. What was it? The uh, during the signing of the Constitution, which the Federalists strongly supported, they were part of federalism was being having a strong central yes, government. But I would the say it sounds like Federalists to today me. would be like libertarians. Okay, just but, so that's we're still, clear. but that's still a strong They wanted a small government. but strong but federal strong government. strong central government still sounds like socialism to me. Hope, and that's, not, see, see, this is very sloppy intellectual thinking. That just because we want a police force, a border patrol, and we want clean streets, all of a sudden we become a socialist. But those are still socialists. There, there is a spectrum between small and strong government and like Soviet style communism. But, as, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about socialism. Right. And so as not, you define not, socialism, not every form of government property. is socialism. Would you acknowledge that? No, I don't. Okay, that, then. But you, is, that, but you define that, at the beginning of this. That's intellectually lazy. No, you define at the beginning no, of this as social. You I've, offered a definition. I've, I've that offered more nuance to that. I will say property. it is the unreasonable confiscation of. But what? How do we well. define reason? That, what is unreasonable? That's up to the polis, the politics to do. I'd say anything above 10%. Okay, well, how do you define so I said 10%. 10%. What I get, I get it from the Bible. Makes sense. 10% okay. of ten percent of what you earn, 10% of what you, you have goes goes to either to tithe or to God or to some sort of ta taxation system. So... That, so just in that so just based Again, on the Bible, that's my position. That's we can disagree your position, on that. Okay, so your position but, is based only at ten percent. At eleven percent, it's now social. It is socialism. No, I'm not saying it's socialism. It gets close. It gets further away from then what it what, is. Where's the mean, line? What is socialism? What is the taxation line? How about yeah, this? If you're, if socialism you're is you cannot own the property that you desire. But you're and talking about getting, being intellectually how about lazy. This? I'm saying let's have a so stringent definition. Let me actually give you a real example. California is more socialist. Texas is less socialist. That's okay. a spectrum. But I want to know agree when does that? socialism begin and when does it end? And I'm saying it, you're it, saying you're saying that some it's level it's of not socialism not like an entrance is, but into no, but you're, if you're Narnia. Saying, if you're it's like I'm all of a sudden here. Anti-American. I'm it, saying it's a socialism spectrum. is a part of America. Okay, so you want to know when socialism begins and when it ends? Yeah. When you leave the free state of Florida and you enter the unfree state of New York. What's the tax rate in Florida then? Zero. 
No, the they, income they, tax in Florida is zero. You still have to pay taxes, though. Federal taxes. You still have to pay federal no taxes. In, no corporate income it, tax, no but, personal income tax. But you still have to pay federal taxes. So if you have to pay taxes at all, it sounds well, like Florida's a socialist state. But yeah, but fa- so are you trying to say America's currently socialist? Yes. That's okay, what I'm I, I would agree. We're going more in that direction. So, okay, that's, but then, but, you're, but you were socialism saying goes. Not. Be, you're saying socialism socialism not is beyond saying, taxes, though. But wait, you just said that America is socialist, but you said Florida is not socialist. So Florida's part well, of America. That doesn't make sense. Hold to on, me. but you pay, if you pay twenty percent more taxes here in California than you do in Florida, yes. Okay, but they're both socialists. No, but the federal project right now is more socialist than it is free market. Yes. Okay. Yes. But in Florida, you get at least some gasp of liberty and freedom that you do not have. In California, if you're a top income earner, you're not paying 15% on addition to a 38% federal income tax rate. That's 53%. That is the, the government owns a majority of your labor. Yeah. So to make, be even more clear, the closer you get towards the government owning a majority of your labor and your goods, the further and further closer you get to socialism. California is that. Yeah. Now, I would love for the federal government to get rid of FICA tax, to get rid of you know the excess income tax. I've been clear. I think 10% across the board, fine. We need a military. You might not agree. We need a police force. We need a border patrol. We need basic social services that are a safety net, not a hammock. But I do not believe in this over-the-top type taxation. If you want to talk about other types of taxation that everyone here is paying, it's inflation. But when you borrow $2 trillion a year, you do not have, you're getting 10% poor every single year. I'm going to get to the next question because you keep on saying the same thing over and over again, but I'm just final saying, point. I, don't, I yeah. don't understand how you can say that America, that socialism is anti-American, when even the most pro-American, I think, you would, as you would define, like, would you say Florida is pretty pro-American? Uh, yeah, say, I mean, they, okay, have, but they have no income tax. But but the thing is, if they still have taxation... No, they have... If, fed, if, they're, if taxation, they're part of the tax, federal if government. If taxation is part of America... And it always but, has been. But no, it hasn't. It's always been part of America. So since you're such a wise guy, how did the, how did we fund the government for the income tax? Um, through taxation, but I said that's socialist. Tariffs. We didn't have an income tax till 1917. So I'm going to get to the next person. You should do more studying on American taxation. And there's a spectrum. I think you should define not, socialism. Not every form of government is socialism.